Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x cubed minus y cubed is equal to 65. We need to find all possible values of x and y, where x and y are integers, both positive and negative. So, let's start. This x cubed minus y cubed can be factorized as x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared is equal to 65. Now, we have product of two factors at left side and this 65 can be factorized as 1 times 65 5 times 13 13 times 5 65 times 1 negative 1 times negative 65 and negative 5 times negative 13 and negative 13 times negative 5 negative 65 times negative 1. Now, this number at right side is a positive number is greater than 0 and this uh, can only be greater than 0 if this number x cubed will be greater than this number y cubed means uh, x cubed must be greater than y cubed and this x cubed can only be greater than this y cubed if x will be greater than y and if we subtract y from both sides then x minus y must be greater than 0. Now, this number negative 1 is less than 0 and this number negative 5 is less than 0 this negative 13 is less than 0 and this negative 15 is less than 0. So, these four options will be rejected. Now, this expression x squared plus xy plus y squared x squared plus xy plus y squared is equal to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared plus 3xy and this x squared minus 2xy plus y squared is a perfect square and can be written as x minus y whole squared plus this 3xy 3xy is equal to this expression x squared plus x y plus y squared. Now, if we move this expression x minus y whole squared to the left side, then this expression will become x squared plus x y plus y squared minus x minus y whole squared is equal to 3 x y. Now, because at right hand side of this equation we have 3 times x y. Now, because at right hand side of this equation we have 3 times x y. So, x squared plus x y plus y squared minus x minus y whole squared must be a multiple of 3 for integer solutions. So, in these four options, we check that this number minus the square of this number is a multiple of 3 or not. In this case, we see that 65 minus this number 1 squared is equal to 65 minus 1 squared is 64 and 64 is not a multiple of 3. 
so this option will be rejected now we see this case in this case 13 minus 5 squared is equal to negative 12 negative 12 is a multiple of 3 so this is ok now in this case 5 minus 13 squared is equal to negative 164 negative 164 is not a multiple of 3 so this option will also be rejected now we see in this case in this case 1 minus 65 squared is equal to negative 4224 this number is also a multiple of 3 so this is also ok so we are left with two cases case 1 is 5 times 13 and case 2 is 65 times 1 this is case 1 and this is case 2 first we solve this case 1 5 times 13 in case 1 we write this expression x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared equal to this 5 times 13 5 times 13 now we write this x minus y equal to this 5 we write this x squared plus xy plus y squared equal to 13 like this x minus y is equal to 5 and uh, x squared plus uh, xy plus uh, y squared is equal to 13. Now we take a square of uh, both sides of this equation x minus y whole squared is equal to 5 squared and this x minus y whole squared is equal to x squared minus 2xy plus uh, y squared is equal to 25. Now we subtract this equation from this equation. We write this equation here x squared minus 2xy plus uh, y squared is equal to 25. We subtract these two equations. Because we are subtracting this plus becomes negative, this minus become plus, this plus become negative, this plus become negative so this uh, positive x squared will be cancelled out with this negative x squared and this positive y squared will be cancelled out with this negative y squared and uh, 1 xy plus 2 xy will become 3 times xy is equal to 13 minus 25 negative 12 and if we divide both sides by 3 we get xy is equal to negative now from this equation x minus y is equal to 5 x minus y is equal to 5 if we move this negative y to the right side then we get the value of x is equal to 5 plus y now we put this value of x 5 plus y in this equation in place of this x then this equation will become 5 plus y times y is equal to negative 4. Now y times this y y squared and y times this 5 plus 5 y and we move this negative 4 to the left side it becomes plus 4 is equal to 0. Now this quadratic equation is factorable. We write this y squared and we split this uh, plus 5y as we split this plus 5y as plus uh, 1y plus 4y plus uh, this 4 is equal to 0. And from these two terms we can factor out y in bracket left 
y plus 1. From these two terms, we can factor out plus 4 in bracket left y plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this uh, y plus 1, this y plus 1 is a common factor. So, we factor out this uh, y plus 1 and uh, in bracket left uh, this uh, y and this plus 4. In bracket left uh, y plus 4 is equal to 0 and from here either this expression y plus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression y plus 4 is equal to 0. From this equation y is equal to negative 1 and from this equation y is equal to negative 4. Now, by using this equation x is equal to 5 plus y, we can find the values of x. When y is equal to negative 1, then x will be equal to 5 minus 1 and x will be equal to 4. So, when y is equal to negative 1, then x will be equal to 4. And when y is equal to negative 4, then x will be equal to x will be equal to 5 minus 4 and x will be equal to 1. So, when y is equal to negative 4, then x will be equal to 1. So, from this case, we get two pairs of x comma y is equal to first pair is 4 comma negative 1 and second pair is 1 comma negative 4. Now, we solve case 2. Case 2 is 65 times 1. In case 2, we write x minus y times x squared plus xy plus y squared equal to 65 times 1. So, this x minus y, x minus y is equal to this 65, 65 in this expression x squared plus x y plus y squared is equal to 1. Now, we take a square of both sides of this equation x minus y whole squared is equal to 65 squared and this x minus y whole squared is equal to x squared minus 2 x y plus y squared is equal to this 65 squared is equal to 4225 and we subtract this equation from this equation. We write this equation here x squared minus 2 x y plus y squared is equal to 4225 and we subtract these two equations. Because we are subtracting this plus becomes negative, this negative become positive, this positive become negative and this positive become negative. And this positive x squared will be cancelled out with this negative x squared. And this positive y squared will be cancelled out with this negative y squared. And this 1xy plus 2xy will become 3 times xy is equal to 1 minus 4225 minus 4224. And if we divide both sides by 3, this implies that uh, x y is equal to negative 1408. Now, from this equation x minus y is equal to 65. x minus y is equal to 65. Remove this uh, negative y to the right side then x will be equal to 65 plus y. Now, in place of uh, this x, uh, we put this value of x uh, 65 plus y. Then, this equation will become 65 plus y times this y is equal to negative 
1408. Now this y times this y, y squared in y times 65 plus 65y. And we move this to negative 1408 at left side it becomes plus 1408 is equal to 0. Now this quadratic equation is not factorable. So no integer solutions can be found from this equation. So the only solution to this equation are x comma y is equal to 4 comma negative 1 and 1 comma negative 4. This is the final answer of this equation.